we're being honest though, issues that women face in technology are not exclusive to women in technology. They are very, but they are like absolutely amplified by being a woman technologist because at about one in five technologists identify as women. So if you have 80% of the people who are building, designing and deploying technology, they don't represent the global majority or even like the diversity of lived experiences that we all have. And so if we're not building tech for those users or with those experiences baked in, we're gonna be doomed to repeat the same mistakes of technology again and again and again. And so we really have to solve that and kind of root it out from the very core. And for women individually in tech, what that can look like is the same things that they experience outside of tech, bias, sexism, misogyny, uh, pay inequities, uh, problems finding, uh, you know, caregiving uh, help and assistance, the mental load of housework and managing a household. If you're a single mom, that's even worse for you. And so really what we're trying to do is find all of these different intersectional identities and identify very specifically what things do we need to do and what systems do we need to put in place to dismantle the systems that have been put in place before us that keep us from advancing. We at AnitaB.org are really focused on increasing the presence, the advancement, and the participation of women and non-binary technologists within the technological sector. As you can see behind us, there are a lot of people here. We have about 30,000 attendees in person and online, in addition to upwards of 300 companies that have come in support to help close the gap and, and further our initiatives of making tech more equitable. We are really excited to be showcasing this with you. So I love the word commitment. So the first thing is actually making a commitment to solve the problem. You can't address a problem if you don't acknowledge ex its existence. So that's like step one. Once you've done that though, it's okay, well now what, right? And that is really what we do a lot to solve at Grace Hopper and through AnitaB.org's year round programs. So the first lever that most places usually pull is on hiring. So meeting women and non-binary technologists where they are at conferences like Grace Hopper. And then once we get them into the field, we have to make sure that we retain them. We know that women uh, technologists will, by mid-career, about half of them will leave. I don't know about you, but that's a problem for me. And so we have to figure out what, why do they leave? And honestly, it's because of a lot of things that I mentioned before. So let's rip down those systems. And one of the ways you do that is by creating allyship, bringing not just your uh, attendees or finding your hires at events like this, but bringing in allies and investing in opportunities, professional development, and allies and champions so that we're able to make long-term lasting impact. Well, they can support our initiatives at AnitaB.org. They can be an ally. They can go and amplify their story. Everyone is a technologist. Technology is so pervasive in our everyday lives. And so doing those things will help further to close the gap that we see that exists today.